defensively, uh, Colorado, um, with the exception of 11 first half turnovers, basically did what they wanted to do. Um, our perimeter guys had a very difficult time staying in front of them, and I thought we could have competed better to be able to stay in front of them. And I thought our inside players at times um, let the ball go into the post a little too or a little too easily. And um, you know, when you give up 91 points, you you just cannot be pleased with the defensive effort. I give Colorado credit; they're a really good offensive team. They got really good personnel. Um, but when you score 84, you should be able to win. Um, I thought that uh, I thought the team was very prepared. Um, and and um, by virtue of our really, again, another really good start. Um, I thought we did some things in our pressure uh, to disrupt Colorado, and uh, the crowd was phenomenal. The crowd was great. Um, really grateful, really appreciate it. Uh, ESPN has never been here for a non conference game at Auburn, and they came today, and uh, that crowd really filled in, and the jungle was alive and well. And, and uh, I don't know why people are complaining about college basketball in November. I mean, if you watch the upsets that have taken place tonight, you got Duke and Kentucky and Michigan State and Kansas, and I think this November start time is, is fine. Our students were phenomenal. Uh, I'm grateful. Um, in the second half, when Colorado was in the bonus with 12 minutes to go, um, and gaining some momentum, uh, made it very difficult for us to, to press and or try to turn them over. Uh, they turned it over 11 times in the first half, just six in the second half. Um, I thought they showed much more composure than we did, 11 returning guys, and, uh, and we panicked some when the game got uh, in a crucial stretches late. And, uh, that, and that'll happen sometimes when you've got a lot of new pieces. You guys uh, lost a, a big lead against UAB as well. Do you see any kind of parallels between that performance and A little bit, yeah, late in the second half. Um, we didn't close. Um, if you do look at the lineup I had out there, uh, it was pretty makeshift. We, we were kind of trying to keep Tyler at two fouls, Sim at two fouls, Horace had two fouls. None of those guys were out there. But um, there would be a similarity to, uh, to not holding on to that lead. And, and again, um, we shot 55% in the first half and scored 46 points. We should have had more than a four-point lead. Uh, I was very, very disappointed in our defense. Talk about the rebounding. Uh, it's going to be an issue. Well, I felt like I felt like if we could hold Colorado to 10 second chance points, we'd be okay. They got 13. I don't know that the offensive rebounding for Colorado was a big difference. The number a difference in rebounding of eight is not a huge factor because listen, when you miss uh, 20 three shots in the second half and and they got a lot of those rebounds um, a lot of it had to do with the fact that we didn't finish they outscored us by 10 from the foul line in the second half which was a huge difference in the uh, in the outcome and um, and so we there were times when I thought offensively we settled for jump shots and and um, it didn't take didn't you know take it to contact enough and obviously that we didn't get uh, we didn't get to the line nearly as much as they did do you believe you have a team that will grow defensively, though, here in these next few weeks? Um, I, I believe we can, um, because I believe there were times that we didn't compete in our closeouts and got caught. And against a lesser opponent, you can get away with it because of length or because of help. Um, I felt like um, I felt like our inside players, particularly Tyler and Devin and Horace. Really did a pretty good job of covering up a lot of the challenges that our perimeter had. Uh, Tyler took a couple of charges, Devin took a charge, and or filled some holes. But we were constantly having to fill holes, and I, we're going to play against better perimeter than Colorado. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm not happy with my, my perimeter defenders and how they let Colorado go and create space. Um, Tyler Harris double double first of his career. Uh, you could see how how you know really. Terrific a player he is. He was the best player on the floor at times, and uh, and you know, we know Josh Scott's going to be a pro. He's going to be a solid NBA player, and I thought that was a you know a really a really really good matchup. Even though they didn't necessarily go against each other a lot, I think Tyler Tyler's ability to score around the basket, um, and um, 
he knocked down a three ball. Just you know, just pretty. You know, that was his uh, his best game. Uh, might have been one of the better games of his career. Bruce, you seemed frustrated with Simeon a few times during the game. What was kind of getting to you about that? Well, I wasn't frustrated with Sim. I mean, you can look at the stat sheet and understand that obviously we ex we, we know Sim can play better, and you know, he didn't play well. And um, you know, trying to get I was just trying to get him fired up. I love Sim, and he takes coaching. And um, he just didn't have it tonight. Maybe the first to admit it. And yeah, it's hard to win when one of your best players, you know, struggles like that. But I love Sam, and, and uh, he'll get it back the next time. Coach Tyler said that he thought that maybe the defense got a little conservative as far as uh, Colorado getting into the lane and creating. Do you feel like that's a, an accurate way to describe it? I wouldn't call their guards taking us off the bounce whenever they wanted conservative. I just think we just got beat off the bounce. You know, and. In the second half, when they're in bonus with 12 minutes to go, how aggressive would you like me to be? They made, uh, they were 16 for 19 from the free throw line. Perhaps we should have been more aggressive, and they could have been 26 for 29 from the foul line. I don't. I think aggressiveness had nothing to do with it. Um, we didn't play well defensively. Please understand that we did not. But it wasn't about being more aggressive. How, how much of it has to do with it all? Just we constantly heard you reference how many newcomers you're welcoming into that the youth. Well, I mean, I think um, you know, roles for sure. Um, it was great to get Taj back. It was great to get Bryce Brown back. But without those two guys, some other guys were out there playing. So now the rotations are a little murky. You got to make some decisions with little information. But I'll make some decisions and probably shorten the rotation by one. Um, I think the second thing would be just, like for example, offensively, when I call something, do I, am I calling it to get you a shot or am I calling it to get you to the rim? And I thought we settled for jump shots way too often. And, um, and then we didn't make enough plays at the rim. Um, and that's experience. Um, but, you know, I feel obviously when, when you lose by 30 a year ago and you lose by seven, you know, you can see the progress that our, we're making. You can see the progress our program is making. And um, I'm pleased with our effort, but I know we can play better. Your thoughts on, on Taj tonight, Bruce, and when you thought he might be able to go? Great to get him back. Uh, he practiced Sunday for the first time. He wanted to play against UAB. But it was just, you know, just a few days too soon, and I wouldn't let him play unless he got through a contact practice. And we had a contact practice on Sunday, and so therefore, as I said to you guys Monday, he's getting closer. And so once he did well on Sunday um, and Monday, we went and made the decision to go ahead and put him in rotation. I thought he played 10 to 12 minutes. He played 15. Um, so it's just good to get him back. He'll. He'll assert himself more and more now as we continue to, as he gets more reps. As you talk, <clears throat> talk about perimeter defense, having him back out there, how much will that help that moving forward? It'll help that some, and it'll also send a message to some of those guys that were out there that if they can't defend better, they won't be out there as much. Bruce, are you surprised? I mean, the press conference yesterday, you mentioned if we can limit them in transition, we should have a, I mean, a good chance. You guys limit them to eight points. Are you surprised? Never yes. You guys lose yes. Like yeah, I, I, I am surprised. They didn't want to run with us. Um, and um, I would say that, um, again, we talked about the fact that the other day I said if they looked at our post defense, they'd be looking, Josh Scott would be looking at his chops. I thought there were times we doubled him effectively, but that was more in front of our bench. I thought in the second half we didn't do as good a job down the other end. And. Um, uh, yeah, I would say that if, if, if I would have limited Colorado to eight fast break points and 13 second chance points, kept that number 20, I, I would have liked our chances. Our drop back defense really let us down. And our second half, and second half offensively, we didn't execute. Everybody good?